I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank Priya for posting four questions related to cylinders. We need to find volume and see how we can apply this concept of volume in different situations. The four questions are question number one. A pipe has length of 22 cm, internal diameter 5 cm and thickness 0.5 cm. Find its volume. Question number 2. Find the radius of the cylindrical can that can hold 2.5 liters of paint. 1 liter is 1000 cm cubes. The height of this cylinder is 19 cm. Question number 3. This section of gutter can hold 20 liters of rainwater. Find its length in meters to one decimal place. Well, the width here is 11.5 and we need to find the length. It is like a semi half of a cylinder. Question number four here is, the small cylinder can fill the big cylinder to a height of five centimeters. Find the radius of big cylinder. So these are actually good application questions on volume of cylinders and while working out the solution of these I think will cover most of the concepts. So let me thank Priya for sharing these questions with me. Priya for question number one you said you could not match the answer. We need to write one decimal place. You will see here that even I could not match the answer. So probably my answer is exactly what you are getting. Now let's try to understand and see how to solve a question, right? Now remember, we need to round all the answers to one decimal place. Question number one here is, a pipe has a length of 22 centimeters, internal diameter 5 centimeter, thickness 0.5 centimeters, right? So let's draw one. So this is kind of a pipe, right? So Uh, when we say internal and external, that means, uh, let me, it is better to give me a section here. Okay, so this drawing could be slightly tricky. Let's select this. Okay. So it's a hollow pipe, correct? Okay. So that is how it is. Now what we are given here is that the length is 22 centimeters. So this is 22 centimeters. So we'll consider length and height as same. Internal diameter, that means this red area diameter, this much, internal diameter is 5 centimeter. Correct? So in that case, internal radius is 2.5 centimeters. Perfect. And we are also given that this external diameter, this thickness, thickness means from here to here. So this thickness is 0 0.5 centimeters. Is that okay? So that means external diameter will be 6 centimeters, right? So that really means that this external diameter will be 6 centimeters. Okay. Since the thickness is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 on this side, 0 0.5 on that side, will give you one extra centimeter for diameter. Perfect. Now what do we need to find? We need to find its volume. So whenever we are saying a pipe, a hollow pipe, we need to only find what is the inside volume, right? That is what we are interested in. So why am I sketching like this? Just to make it clear since our answers are not matching with the book, right? So when we are only interested in the inside, we could actually not bother about the thickness. Thickness could be anything. It doesn't matter in this question, right? Well, if the question could have been with external diameter and thickness, uh, you would uh, rework, right? Anyway, now since, let's make it a point here that we are given internal diameter, right? So, so the red area, and this is what the volume Okay, so the volume formula will be, which is pi r square h. Now in our case, height is 22. So pi will take, uh, we can take 22 over 7 as pi value, or we can use calculator. Now radius is 2.5, which is half of 5, correct? So 2.5 radius. 
and height is what we need to find. Since diameter equals to 5 cm, we are taking radius as 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5 cm. Clear? Now, height is 22. Let me write down. Height equals to 22 centimeters. So let's write down all the values. So we get 22 over 7, and then we have this as 25 over 4, and then we have height of 22. And when we multiply all this, we get cubic cent or centimeter cube, right? So that is what we are going to get. So let's multiply and find the answer. You could also use the value pi on the calculator, right? So either way you could do. So let me use 22 over 7 for pi. So what I'm using at present is pi equals to 22 over 7, right? So nearly it is same. Okay. So we have 22 times 25 times 22 in the numerator and we are going to divide it by 28 which will give us in decimals a value of 432.14 right so rounding we get 432 this is one way of doing it now you could also use the value of pi from the calculator right so so in that case, it will be 25 over 4 or 2.5 whole square times 22. So, and then figure it out, right? So I'll multiply 22 by pi. So 22 times pi, right? And then we'll multiply by, this is, uh, we need to square this, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, we have already squared. So I'll do 2.5 squared. So we'll multiply this by 2.5 squared to get our answer, which is... 431.96 which can also be approximated as 432 right centimeter cube so in any case it is only 432 centimeter cubes correct now let's move on and do question number two question number two here is Find the radius of the cylindrical can that can hold 2.5 liters of paint. One liter is 1000 cc. So what we are given here is basically volume, which is 2.5 liters or 2.5 times 1000 cc or centimeter cube. So 2500 centimeter cube. This is what is given to us. We also know from the diagram here is that height is 19 centimeters, right? Volume formula is pi r square h. We need to isolate r. So we can divide by pi and h. So we get volume equals to pi divided by height, which is radius square. Now, from here, we can find radius by doing square root of this. So radius will be equal to square root of volume divided by pi h. So that becomes the formula, which you can always use in such situations. Correct? So now we'll use the formula and get the result. So for us, the radius should be equal to square root of volume is given to us as 2500, 2500 divided by pi times height, which is 19, right? Within square root. So let's calculate this answer. So what we have here is 2500 divided by, within brackets, I will write 19 times pi so we are going to use the pi value as in the calculator right so we get this number which is equal to we'll do square root of 41.88 right so we'll do square root of this number so we have square root of our answer and that is equal to 6.47 and can be rounded at 6.8 centimeters is that correct so that is what we get our answer. Oh, sorry, 6.5. 6.5 centimeters, right? 4, 7, 6.5 centimeters, right? Now let's take the next question, which is question number three. This section of gutter can hold 20 liters of rainwater. So we are given the volume as 20 liters, which is 20,000, right? One liter is thousand centimeter cube since we know one liter is thousand centimeter cube find the length in meters okay 
to one decimal place. So this is the length. We'll convert this to meters anyway. So anyway, we know better about centimeter cubes. We'll find the centimeters convert to meters later. We are given diameter of 111.5 centimeters. So the radius will be half of this, correct? That is to say it is 5, so it goes 10, then again it's 11, 5, 0.5, right? So it becomes, if you do 5 times 2.5 is 10, then you get um, 15. So it is 30 so uh, when you divide this you get 5.75 okay let me just 5.75 correct so that becomes your radius half of 11.5 now uh, we need to find the length again let's look into the formula this is like half the cylinder right so this is half cylinder volume which is uh, you can say now the volume formula for this will be half of the volume formula which is pi r square h right so that is what it is you know the radius you know the constant pi you need to find the height and you also know this uh, volume which is 20 liters right so we can write this as 20 liters which is 20,000 centimeter cube is equal to half of pi times radius which we know is 11.5 divided by 2 which is 5.75 whole square times height so to find height we are going to divide this by this and multiply by 2 correct so what we get here is 20,000 times 2 divided by pi times 5.75 square right that gives you the height clear now this height is in centimeters. We need to convert that to meters. So we have 40,000 in the numerator. And we are going to divide by uh, pi times 5.75 squares. We are putting that in brackets. Equals to. So we get height of 385.1. which is 385.1 and this is in centimeters so when you convert to meters you have to divide by 100 so we get this as 3.85 meters rounding to one decimal place you get 3.9 meters so that becomes your answer for the the length which is same as the height in this particular case so i hope that makes sense now let us do the last question. The small cylinder can fill the big cylinder to a height of 5 centimeters. Find the radius of big cylinder. Now in this particular case, what we are given here is that if you fill all what is inside into the cylinder, it goes up to the height of 5 centimeters. Correct? we need to find what the radius is for the big cylinder. So let's begin by finding the volume of the small cylinder, right? So we say volume of small cylinder, which will be pi r square h, which is pi times, radius is given to us, this nine is actually the diameter, right? So, so which is equals to nine divided by two, whole square times height which is 18 right so we can calculate this as pi times 4.5 square times 18 okay so that is the volume now this volume is equal to we don't know what the radius is for this particular cylinder right so big cylinder volume will be what will be pi capital R square times 5 is it okay? Because 5 is the height. 
Now this volume should be equal to the small volume which we just calculated which is pi times 4.5 square times 18. So pi and pi cancel. Right, so we need not really multiply with pi. So we get r square equals to 4.5 square times 18 divided by 5. Let's calculate this value. Okay, so we have 4.5 square times 18 and we are going to divide this by 5. So in decimals, we get 72.9. So R is equal to square root of 72.9. So let's do square root of our answer. And what do we get? In decimals, we get 8.53. In centimeters, right? Rounding to one decimal place, we could write this radius as 8.5 centimeters. Okay. So that becomes the radius of the big cylinder. Does make sense to you. So that is how we are going to solve our question. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.